Well, here we go. This is Laguna Casa Lakeside. It's $160,000. Livable. Uh, can use a little fixing up, but certainly livable presently. When you decide you want a little more information, you can always give us a call, 315-498-0652. That's a U.S. number. Just dial it just like you're in the U.S., and it will ring us here in Nicaragua. This structure that you're looking at now is, that's the two bedrooms and a bathroom in that part of the building right there to the right. Now, in Nicaragua, a lot of the living is currently being done outside. I mean, the temperature is, I don't think it's ever below 75 degrees. It sure hasn't been below that since I've been here. So a lot of people do their, the main part of their living outside, underneath a, a patio or a veranda or, you know, your porch area. The kitchen on this house is under the porch. The docks are great. They're high. Um, the reinforcement wall is all the way around the island, pretty much. And uh, it's, it's in, in very decent shape from, from what I could see. You've got uh, stone, stone floors, which is pretty typical, stone or tile floors. A lot of stone work because there's a lot of rock on the island. That particular structure there again is where the two bedrooms with a bath, a common bath in the center of the two bedrooms. That's where the bathroom exists. There's running water. Uh, the water here, uh, the lakeside water is used for everything except drinking. So your showers, I think some people cook with it, they boil it. But showers, your landscaping, uh, obviously for swimming and fishing, uh, laundry, things like that. This is a nice eating area. It's right in front of the kitchen, kitchen area, the cooking area. I did not see a, um, a stove. However, the stoves here are typically run by propane, full-size stoves, but uh, with propane tanks, which are available and currently Last time I bought a tank of propane gas, which is more larger than a 20-pound tank, it was something like $12. Actually, I don't think it was that much. I think it was $8. This property comes with two boats. One uh, has a motor on it, and you're looking at those now. The other has no motor. Uh, those boats, I mean, if you're going to buy a couple of boats here, you're looking, especially those types, with that size motor, you're going to be looking a little more than $10,000 for sure. We've got some fairly decent landscaping. Like I say again, it's livable. There's a caretaker on the property. That's his house. Uh, one room, little kitchen area. Uh, he and his family live there to oversee the island. <clears throat> There's a pool area where they had enclosed, um, they had walled in an area of the lake that you would typically use, not typically, but that's being used as a swimming pool. That needs some repair, however. I noticed that one of the walls there is crumbling a little bit. I mean, it's a nice spot. Looks like the island is probably about a third of an acre, or I'd say a quarter of an acre in size. <clears throat> the views are spectacular. Obviously, 360 degree view. Um, a volcano or two. You can see a few other islands. It's just, uh, it's just spectacular. Great weather. I haven't seen any bugs on any of these islands, so that doesn't seem to be a problem. Uh, but there seems to always, every time I'm out here, it seems to always have a slight breeze, which is quite nice, quite nice. A good amount of vegetation on this island, so that's certainly handy. Uh, makes things nice, it gives you shade. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a great outdoor feel in here. It's peaceful. I mean, it's nothing like these islands where you just, you know, you're out here and you just do what you want. You're not really secluded because you're, you're only about five, six minutes away from the mainland by boat, and if you're in a hurry, you can probably get there quicker than that. And then again, the, the price of this, $160,000 along, that includes two boats, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. 
We're taking a look now at sort of the back end of the, of the building that we looked at, behind the structure. Uh, I'm going to take a walk over there and show you a patio area, which is to the rear of the main structure. There's also a patio or home area up on a, I don't know how to describe it. It's up a few stairs, up quite a few stairs. I'd say we're probably 10, 15 steps up. And there's a plateau there that they were telling me was a house or they started building a house. I'm not sure which. But it'd be a nice place for either another patio or uh, another structure, uh, a small structure. I think I would probably, I don't know what I'd put up there. I might put a, a nice open air bedroom up there with some screens and a, a nice view. Now behind there, oh, the patio I was talking about, behind the house, it's a good size. You'll be able to tell from the, the people that are walking around on it that um, it's a nice size area. There's already the framing there, metal framing for a canopy. So I'm going to make the assumption that the people were doing quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of relaxing and entertaining here. Also, I'd make that assumption from all the chairs I saw stacked up earlier. <clears throat> Now, as we uh, walk back towards the front, this is the, the front of the building again. You get another look at, at the approach. It's a nice little island. I mean, if someone were to buy this island, if you were to buy this and maybe spend another $30,000 $30, over time, I mean, here you can build a house for fifty thousand dollars a foot. I mean, a, a I mean a home, not just a house. Um, with a little bit of time, you could just have a ball here. A little bit of money and a little bit of time. This would be a great place to live and work on it as you live in it. That's what I think. Here's that patio area back behind the main structure. And it's a good size area. I mean, if you just wanted to build, 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 you could build something back here. But I'd I'd leave some open space for myself. But it's all it's all stone stone inlaid in the ground here, stone and concrete. It's uh it's great for hanging out. Well I'd hang me a hammock back here and just uh really relax and have a have a great time. <clears throat> You'd be able to see some of the view. I didn't really show you much in the way of a view, but you get to see some of the water and a couple of the islands around. Most everyone seems to put potted plants around the edge of their islands or of their landscaped area. Now if we were to take, if I had had any foresight and looked up that tree, we would have seen that there's a flat top above that raised area. We're going we're gonna to go up there in a minute. I'm going to take you up there in a second. But this, uh, there's the back of the main structure. You can just barely see it. So that wraps right around to the front of the house again. Mm-hmm. You can barely see the top of the plateau there. That area is flat. There's some stairs around the other part that uh, that we're going to get up there eventually. And then again, just another great view from up there. I don't know if I mentioned it, but there's uh, satellite TV is available. Uh, Wi-Fi is available using a, a modem that plugs into your your laptop or your or your computer <clears throat> uh let's see oh right there's electricity there's a septic for your your waste and there's a holding tank for fresh water let's see if we can get ourselves uh up the stairs here and see that plateau area Okay, here we go. Finally found the stairs. <laughs> I think this narration is probably completely off from what you've been looking at, but we're working our way up to the plateau where there was a, a structure at one point. Now they're telling me there was either a home or a house, a room here, or they're about to build one here. It looks to me like they started building it and stopped, which is also 
kind of a typical deal. However, it's a nice little plateau up here. I'm going to say it's probably at least 20 by 20 feet. And as you see, you can look down on your island, and you can certainly look out at, the, uh, at some of the views. But this would be a great spot to add a room or just another patio area. I'd probably put one bedroom up here with, uh, with some wide open space so I could just look around lots of windows and uh, take a look at what's around this island. This is probably elevated about 10 feet from the, uh, from the main part below. That's looking down on a caretaker's house there in the background and now we're working our way around to the main house. So headed back down the stairs, back into the main structure here eventually, and uh, we're going to come in through a side door, which is a kitchen door, if we can get past all the folks here, uh, and just walk into the side of the kitchen. That path there is going to take us into the side of the kitchen. Excuse me. Let me get by. Thank you. There we go. That doorway right there to the left. We're going to walk into the kitchen. And out straight out in front of all of that is where the boat docked in the first place, where we, we pull, pulled up to the open patio area. That's your kitchen door there. There we go. And if we swing around to the right, we'll be able to see uh, out to the water. Look to me like, well, they just use this to party a lot. You see all those chairs stacked over there straight out in the front, those plastic chairs stacked up there? I think that pretty much did it for us. Give us a call. We'll gladly show it to you or send you more information. I have a lot of steel photos that we'll send you. Uh, just, just give us a call.